and we shout hallelujah and we shout hallelujah and we shout hallelujah hallelujah to the Lamb praise God praise God praise God Giving honor to God who's the aid of my life. To greet my pastor, Bishop Dr. Lloyd Russell, Evans Russell in the absence of the officers seated in the form, officers in their respective places, saints, friends of the Most High God, holy greetings also greet Deacon Mark Davis, missionary at Red Wing, who are acting in the place of our pastor during absence. Praise God. While I remain standing, turn your Bibles to Revelation 3, verse 2. Revelation 2, 3, rather, 2. And I read, Be watchful, and strengthen the things which remain and are ready to die. Be watchful and strengthen the things that remain that are ready to die. Oh God, my God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. You are God, God, only wise. And you I worship, and no other. Your name must be praised. I'm nothing of my own. I make mistakes, just common flesh and bone. But I have a mind to live for you. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. Here are your people. Breathe upon them life. In the name I pray. Amen. And you may be seated. But watch. Be watchful. And strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. Don't die in your winter. Spring is coming. Don't die in your winter. Spring is coming. To everything, there is a season and a time and purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to pray, to weep rather, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, a time to gather stones, a time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, a time to lose, a time to keep, a time to cast away things, a time to rent, a time to sow, time to keep silent, a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. 
to everything. There's a time and a season. This is not the time to die. This is not the time to die. But strengthen the things that remain and are ready to die. Some time ago, if I Russell gave me a book entitled, Don't Die in Your Winter. Spring is coming. It is one of my most treasured items. And I passed on copy of, copies of the book to a number of people I know back in the Highlands who was going through. She did not know when she gave me that book, she was simple preparing me for the winter. We bless the name of Jesus. You see, winter is at that time that plants grow. Plants die in the winter. But what they try to do is to endure, is to survive the season. It's not time to become discouraged. But it's time to strengthen or encourage yourself in the Lord. I remember when David and his men went to war. When they returned, everything, their wives and sons and daughters were taken and their houses burnt. His men were about to stone David. The scripture said he encouraged himself in the Lord. Saints, we need to learn how to encourage ourselves in the Lord. This is not a time to let go, but a time to grab hold upon God. Season can be characterized as an indefinite period of time. Simple, we don't know how long winter will last sometimes. There are four seasons. Spring, summer, autumn, some said fall, and winter. The one I dread most is the winter season. When it snow, I know to call out from work. I'm not going to work when it snow. I have difficulty maneuvering in the winter time. In the winter, I just don't want to leave my house. Just leave me alone. I want to stay there. Praise God. Sad to say, sometimes no, I don't come to church. We bless the name of Jesus. Winter is a cold season. Everything is bleak in the winter. Negative things happen in the winter. Country wind sets in. Call here, says sin. The birds fly south. Animals go into hibernation. The leaves turn brown and fall from the tree. The beautiful lawn turns brown and the grass died. Water freezes. Fish travel downstream. The skies get gray. The days get shorter. Accident rate goes up. And all the bills get higher. People get more depressed in the winter because they are not productive as in the summer. But don't die in the winter because spring is coming. Sometimes in the winter,
the season. People are not excited about the things of God anymore. And in the assembly, we have great falling away. It looks like winter today. I can't find some people. We bless the name of Jesus. We bless the name of Jesus. We bless the name of Jesus. People do not want to press their way through the winter snow. And Satan, find this out. The enemy of my soul, the he for one, Lucifer, the accuser, the wicked one. He check me out. He check you out. And he watch our behavior. It's an opportunity for the wicked one to kill my spirit. It is an opportunity to kill one hope, to kill one faith in the winter season. We have our own personal experience with winter storm in recent years. So many snow, the roof collapsed. I remember branches came down on the road block, power lines down, highways closed, side street closed. So many things happen in the winter season. More people died in our fire in the winter season than any other time. Most people died and vehicles piling up on highways in the winter time than any other time. It's a season of death. But we must endure. It's a season to endure. A good friend of mine, just like, he's like my brother to me. He comes by me in the springtime. And he shares his testimony with me. His wife once had a good job with the government in Jamaica, doing good. All of a sudden, she becomes so discouraged. She stopped going to work. She lost her job. She stopped going to church. And the people talked about her so badly. She was so sick and did not even know what was her problem. He told me one night in the wee morning that she began to scream out and began to talk all type of strange stuff. He did not know what to do, but he had to call the emergency number, and immediately there was a policeman on his door. When they tried to help her, she fight them off, but they get her to the Spanish Town Hospital anyhow. When she was placed in the ward, the people that around her only to realize her blood pressure, her Blood sugar was skyrocketing and gave her a concoction that it messed up her head. But when she looked around and started to come back to herself, all she saw was death around her. Some with no legs and some with only one leg. She said to herself, I have to get out of here. All she saw around her was death in the hospital. She did her best. Tried to do a little thing that a nurse could get her out of there. She turned to her husband and said, Hi, I'm not going 
back to that place. All I see was death. The very first time ever been admitted into hospital, all she saw was death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some people want to stay in the death environment, but I refuse to die in my winter. He got her home. I because his job is seasonal. He works on the farm in New York. He has to find somebody to help her 24 hours a day. To do just about everything. One minister said to him, you need to stop traveling. Take care. But he's the only breadwinner. He has the mortgage. He has his daughter to send to school. It was just too much. It was winter. But she remember the hospital experience. She remember the death that she saw. She, the, the no-legged people she saw. My friend called me last week. Said, but you know what? My wife make a full turn. Her health have been restored. You see, this is a sister from Wellman Street who knows God and grew up in God. But she make a right around turn. The blood pressure going down. The blood sugar is going down. And she's able to do everything. I mean everything for herself. And those who criticize her because I said, hey, how the people of their beats and they come to church. But everybody, body, act different. But what? She make a full return. She saw death. She saw death. She saw death. She saw death. I refuse to die in my window. I refuse to die. Just as we have real winter, natural winter, we also have a spiritual winter. We must endure. It's not a time to die. When I think about spiritual winter, anything and everything that affects my growth, winter sets in. Spiritual winter to you mothers is that child or your children that you grew up. Feed them, clothe them. Then get out of control. Talk back to you in your own house. You just don't know what to do. You can't do nothing about it. It's winter sets in. But you must endure. Winter season. When your promised son, your promised daughter, college bound, turn to drugs. It's winter. It's just winter. You can't do nothing about it. The job that you hold so long. You've been service slipped. Your service no longer required. It's winter. Sets in. It's winter. Sets in. You do not feel so well in the body. Went to the doctor. Get a checkup. Later been called. Oh, you need to come to in the doctor's office. You get there. The blood works not. It's cancer. 
is winter season. Your very foundation shaken. The walls shaken. Oh, it's winter season. But I must hang to the winter. When Jesus was about to leave, the disciple asked him, Lord, tell us what the signs be of the coming. And he began to talk to them. But he said, pray not that your flight be in the winter Pray that your flight be not in the winter. Winter is a dreadful time. Winter is a dreadful time. Pray not that your flight be in the winter. So don't come to church and feel good. Because you turn up, you're in winter. Winter is pressing down on you. I heard Paul said, endure hardship as a good soldier endure the hardness of a good soldier the soldier entangled not himself with the fear of this life I heard Paul say I reckon that the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared That is suffering the hardship, the pain of this present time. It's not worthy. When I see Jesus, Amen. When I see Jesus, heartaches. What I complain that people did to me, it will be over. It will be over. It will be over. The hardship that I experience, it will be over. Many are hurting on the inside. Many are dying right in your seat. A slow spiritual death is overtaking us and we are doing nothing about that but I remember the sister testimony I'm not going back to that hospital ward I am not going back I refuse to die in the winter In the spiritual winter, the songs that glorify God and bring glory to us don't mean much more to us anymore. We don't clap, we don't shout, we don't rejoice in God anymore. But be watchful. Be conscious. Be aware. I just want to tell you that I cannot pull you out of the winter. You have to have that desire to pull yourself out. You have to have that mind to get out. You have to have that mind to endure. You have to have that mind to survive the winter. 
And don't pray for God to take you out either. We have to go through. Because the spring is the season after winter. No winter, no spring. No winter, no summer. It's a process. And God is simple processing us to go through the winter season. So don't die. In the winter, the trees lose their leaves. Sometimes blizzard condition take branches off. All that left is the root. The very substance to keep the lava sap all gone down in the root. That's why it is good to grow down or better to grow down than to grow up. Because in the winter season, it depends on the root. That's where the life exists. Hi. Notice some people he even come to prayer meeting on Monday night time and they don't want to pray. I observe you. Why are you coming out? Come Sunday, you wave your branches. They will break off. You wave the leaves. They're going to fall off. But send down some roots. Down on my knees. Down on my knees. I don't want to look pretty in church. I want to send down roots. Because winter is coming and I can't escape it. So while you bloom and, and, and waves, I'm sending down my roots. Grab hold of truth. Grab hold of the word of God. I must survive this season. I remember some years ago, I fell into depression. I was going through a challenging time. I remember one Sunday morning, and I sat on the phone, Missionary Bennett, for some reason, took my shoes, my socks off, and anoint my feet with oil. The friend Monday said to me, what's happened to you? I said, I don't know. She said, oh, when she saw, she saw me covered with darkness. And I remember, I quote the date exactly. It was on October 23rd, 2005. I got home from church as I lay down, not sleeping. But I heard the voice said to me, I have taken you out of the mire clay, Psalms 40. But in my mind, I already know that Psalms 40 does not start that way. I know it start, I waited patiently on the Lord. I lay down still. It's about to get ready to come to night worship. As I gather my stuff in my hand, head into the bathroom, it's like somebody literally grabbed the stuff out of my hand and said, I have taken you out of the mire clay. I dropped my stuff, went in my study, grabbed the Bible, and I started to read Psalm 40. When I reached the second verse, exactly what the Spirit said to me, have brought you out. I Drop the Bible and start to worship God. I mean to worship God. I mean to worship God. I was feeling good because the Spirit gave me this lightness. About a month later, that feel of depression hoved over me again. I started to sound thunder. But I heard the voice said. I did not say I'm going to take you out of the miracle. I said I've taken you out of the miracle. And I start to worship God since 
2005, I have never been in no more depression. Since 2005. I said to myself, discouragement is one thing I will not do. Discouragement is one thing. I have been delivered. Praise the Lord. I have been set free. I did not die in the winter. Two thousand seven, I became sick. Was told that I have lupus. Would break out in my face so often at times. Was relieved from work for some indefinite leave because I was just so sick. But I'm still alive. I'm still here. I went to my doctor some time ago. He wanted to remind me of the lupus in my blood. But I shall not die. But live. I shall not die. But live. And glorify the name of God. I shall not die. But live. But honor God. I shall not die. But live. And give glory to his name. Lupus are no lupus. I'm going to worship God. Cancer are no cancer. Worship God. I shall not die, but live. I shall not die. I continue next time. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. In the winter, live. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us all stand. Hallelujah. 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 Let us lift our hands unto the Lord right now. Hallelujah. Don't die, but live. We are going to live. We're not going to die, but we're going to live to declare the works of the Lord.